Moore Correctional Facility in Greene County will play a key role in the prison's vaccine delivery and storage plan. Prisons are a hotbed for COVID cases, and these shots are meant to help bring those numbers down. Officials from North Carolina's Department of Public Safety are outlining their vaccine distribution plan. We have formed two six-member vaccine strike teams in each of our four prison regions. One of the four prison regions includes Maury Correctional Facility. Teams at these facilities are made up of nursing and logistical workers to schedule appointments. Officials say while vaccine distribution isn't anything new, COVID presents unique challenges. Administering vaccines is nothing new to prisons. In fact, we administer thousands of vaccines, such as the annual flu vaccine, each year to our offenders. So COVID vaccination isn't really for us, it's an issue of scale, not, not expertise or experience. Some may question how prison officials have a plan without the actual vaccines. At this point, we do not know which vaccine will be available to us, exactly when it'll be available, or in what quantities it will be available. State leaders are working with local health departments to prepare for a variety of situations, and they do have some supplies. Personal protective equipment, ancillary supplies, and other necessary equipment for storage and transport have been obtained. Prisons are also receiving their vaccine doses from the federal government and are not taking away from supplies going to county health departments. The vaccine is allocated, kind of like the commissioner discussed from DHHS. Um, there's a portion that's given to the health departments. They have a mission that they have to accomplish. Uh, we also have a mission, so we will receive our own allocations. Prisons have been hotbed for COVID cases. As of Thursday, 36 North Carolina inmates have died from COVID-19. Five of those deaths were in the last week of December. Two bills signed by Governor Roy Cooper last summer focused on prison reform. House Bill 511 enforces sentencing reforms for nonviolent drug crimes. That would let judges go around mandatory minimum laws for drug users who get treatment for substance abuse and meet other requirements. Senate Bill 562 lets people erase criminal records in certain cases. Having a criminal record can often make it difficult, if not impossible, to find a job or be approved for release or a loan. Even with these reforms, prisons are still dealing with high populations and are looking to distribute vaccines to those who want them. This pandemic has taught us that we need to be flexible, adaptable, and that change is imminent. Victoria Holmes, 9 on your side.